blacks to the left. We got us a nice little brown. You gotta love when your worst day turns into the best day. Snow white bird. Just trying to get up, get some elevation. Shed holes. Yes, I almost walked by that, yes. Look at that. Well, good mid morning to everybody. Hope you guys are having a great day. And as usual, hope you guys are staying safe. Um, as you can see, I've got the pack, hiking sticks, and I'm out for another shed hunting video. So welcome back to Shed Tour 2020. At this point, I feel like I've spent the morning just following boot tracks. A little frustrating, but that's all right. There's a lot of country and a lot of terrain and a lot of brush that hide these antlers pretty good. So I decided just to cut off the boot tracks, get onto this finger ridge right behind me, sit down and glass. That's kind of where I'm at. I'm just going to do a lot of glassing, see if we can kind of go from there. I don't really have a game plan except for tomorrow. Uh, I am trying to match up a big bull I found a couple weeks ago. We're well into April now, and I'd say the big rush, you know, the, that first month is so exciting. I'm always just so pumped. Try to get to each ridge, be first. But I think that's kind of slowed down. So the, the motto of this trip is just to slow down and enjoy it. So like I said, I'm just going to sit here and glass and see what we can pick out first. And we'll kind of take it from there. Well, glassing did not produce. And this hillside was pretty thick. I knew it was going to be tough to glass. So I figured, figured what the heck, walk over there. Starting to see sign, old tracks, and old dropping. So if I had to guess, we're kind of getting into some good terrain. So probably from here down, I bet I have a chance to find some elk sheds. Just gonna have to spot them out in the thick brush again. Time check, it is 12.15 and we are still at zero sheds. No elk antlers yet. Ugh, I'm in sign, but I'm not sure if it's maybe too old. Whoa, or what, but yeah, I haven't found any sheds yet. I am actually going to Drop some elevation and ditch my sleeping bag and some other non-essential items out of my backpack to lighten up the load so I can kind of work some of this stuff a little easier, cover more country. Goodness, it's about time. I just came pushing through this burnt tree right here, ducking, just kind of looking like, man, this is all cow elk and moo cow. Just glides to the left. We got us a nice little brown. There we go. Something. It's a little six point. I feel like this side of the canyon was uh, cow elk, moo cows, and maybe just some small bulls because there's tons of tracks and no sheds. That's the only thing I can think of is this isn't the big bull terrain. Thing is burning hot from baking in the sun right there. Just a little guy. Typically elk like this are not running with the big dog. Sometimes they are, but not typically. They'll either be with you know bulls of this caliber, like young bulls, sometimes with the cows too. So again, I don't know what to think of this area, but uh feels good just to get a brown. Really nice white burr like so clean anyways it beats uh getting skunked so we'll throw that on the pack and maybe start to work some of this terrain a little bit more in zigzag well we've got some shed bulls mixed in with some moo cows two bulls and a lead one he sure doesn't look like a raghorn so probably a set or two in here that's decent I'm gonna have to gonna have to zigzag to weed them out because this is uh, like most of the stuff I walk through. It's pretty dang thick. Those guys are a long ways away. Heck, they're not even looking over here or anything. 
So I'm just gonna stay on the sunny slope and probably zigzag some of this and see what else we can scoop. Oh, what a pleasant surprise. I just about ate it right there. And in the middle of my saving myself with my sticks, spotted a brown shed. <laughs> and it was like obvious. So in the middle of my, oh crap, better catch myself. I was like, sweet, a brown. Ah, just another young bull. I think that helps with my case that most of the bulls right here anyways seem to be on the younger side of things but still fun to find trust me two browns not mad about that i was actually going to head to my backpack but now it might motivate me to stick around a little bit what a thick mess what do we got Ooh, we got bugs Look at the bugs on that thing. <laughs> Just chilling there. See ya. Sorry guys, party's over. Man, that thing is dark. Look how dark the whole main beam is on that. Surprising because it actually has a decent sized burr and decent sized mass and then it just kind of dwindles out. Probably just a young bull obviously, but a nice one. Stayed nice and dark down here in the shade. Man, he was rubbing. Look at all the pine tree stuff right here and all up in his main beam. It's kind of cool. This is the stuff you can scratch and sniff. Look at all that. Sweet. Another one to add to the pack. Not bad. There she goes. Well, today turned out to be pretty slow. Just the two browns on the pack. See, I'm back to my sleeping bag and camping essentials. Had to climb a lot of elevation <laughs> to get back up here. I originally thought I would sleep right there, but there's just not, a, not enough sheds to get me excited to stay there. So since there's like an hour and a half, two hours of light, I'm bombing down to some new country. Uh, the good news is I'm already way out here, so I can head to where I picked up my big one and make it pretty close by tonight and hunt all that tomorrow. That's kind of the game plan for now. Look at the shadow, cool shadow. For now, we just gotta be careful and get back down with this heavy backpack. Well, I came over here to kind of check out this little bench Look for a spot to maybe put a tent, but nothing is really flat and it's extremely rocky I wanted to perch up right here so I can glass this So I dropped the pack and figured might as well glass it real quick before I I go down and look for a good spot to camp Glass to white hard to say what kind of condition it is in But definitely a white maybe chalk condition too. Anyways, we got one more shed I'm gonna look for a place to camp and probably go get it just a chalker in a tree Probably put there by somebody. Uh, that's like three of those I have found today. Three chalks that I've left behind. Moving on. This looks like a pretty good spot. Nice soft dirt. Sun will wake me up in the morning. And uh, plenty of room to have a fire nice and safe out in the open. But I'm going to post up right here. I'll have that ridge to glass tonight. Home sweet home. All right guys, time to build a fire. I'm gonna use some of the Hush Pyro Putty. We sell this stuff on our website, so super simple to use. I like these little tiny ones for backpacking. They're so small and light. Literally this entire thing will help you start plenty of fires. So you're just gonna wanna start with the dab, like so. Then you're just gonna go ahead and light it and uh, do all the corners. Just really 
helps give you time to build a fire. I've got some grass and some pine needle things. So we're gonna try to uh, start a fire with that right there. It's like whenever I need pine needles, I can't find them. While I'm hiking, I see them everywhere. We'll let that start and we'll get some, some more small sticks and stuff. But yeah, that pyro putty is money. Really good on the, during hunting season too. I use the crap out of it all year round, really. Nothing beats a fire next to camp with some sheds, for real. Except a hot dog and a tortilla, that's next. The first thing I'm getting is brats and tortilla and cheese. Cooking up just right. Got a hot dog, I should say a beef brat, a hot tortilla, and I even brought some ketchup packets this time. Learned from last time. Gotta have the ketchup. It's all about the toasty tortilla though. Don't burn it. All right, here we go for dinner. We're having a cheese dog. This fell in the fire, so hopefully that last little piece of that stick doesn't break off. Ooh, roasted tortilla, no ashes, a little bit of cheese. So the hot dog should be pretty dang hot. We're gonna split this up just a little bit. That way it can be kind of spread out. Roll it up. That's what you want. Tortillas have been a great addition to camp food. Hmm. Didn't get any hot dog there. It's good with just about anything. Sandwich stuff, soup, which I have, hot dogs. So tortillas are my new thing. Well, I thought I'd just let that roll for a minute and let you guys enjoy sitting around the campfire. A lot of you probably haven't had a chance to get out. So let's give you guys a close-up. And, uh, you know, it's crazy times right now. It's funny because some states are saying to get outdoors and some states are closing the outdoors. You know, for myself, I find that this is the easiest way to stay away from people is just to come out here. So, enjoy the fire for a minute. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap that up for a video. Just going to cut it off here so I can uh, just finish eating and go to bed. Today was a fun day. Like I said, the goal is to kind of slow down and have fun. I really took my time. Ended up pulling a couple browns, which I know most people would be happy to find stuff like that. So I'm very grateful. Tomorrow, I'm going to head to a, a spot where I found a big single a couple weeks ago. Hopefully, it's still out there. I know we couldn't find it, so hopefully it's still out there in the brush somewhere. So make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of the shed tour action. If you guys want, please support us through our store at GetHushin.com or through our partners and all the discount codes and links to their stores is in the description box as usual. Thank you guys so much for watching from camp in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> See you guys tomorrow. <laughs>